Welcome to my studio. My latest sculpture, as you can see, is a sculpture of Mother Teresa with a child. The idea of this piece is to show uh, a beautiful, loving uh, relationship between Mother Teresa and the symbol of the children of the world. And here we have a sculpture that really has no direct front to it. And that's what I love about sculptures because sculptures are three-dimensional and it's great to move them around and, and, and take a look at them. Uh, at all different angles. But what I have here is that basic face-to-face -face, uh, interaction with uh, Mother Teresa and a child. When I worked on the piece, I wasn't very much concerned about having realism in the drapery. Drapery, uh, in a lot of my sculptures, including this one, is abstract sculpture in a sense. You can see how the lines here flow to give a curve, to give a, a circular shape that's already existing. And when I put in the lines, it reinforces that, that circle. Why is a circle important for this Mother Teresa? Because it shows the harmony. It shows um, how Mother Teresa was unified with the children and, and, and the people of the world. The, the child, I, I fashioned the, the child on the face of an Indian child. However, I left it pretty open so it's not really a, a sculpture on the specific race. It's a sculpture about uh, the, the, the youth of the world. And as you can see here, I always love doing a sculpture of Mother Teresa because her face has, just has so much character. And it's easy to capture someone that has a lot of character like her. And so I have her with her eyes, uh, with all the character lines around her eyes and a smile. And basically you have that contrasted with the youth of the child who again has a very similar smile as they look in each other's eyes. This is not only a celebration of Mother Teresa, I believe it's a celebration of life. And every different uh, uh, striation celebrates that unity and is meant to give you an uplifting feel when you approach the piece. And like I said before, the, the difficult and, and the, the beautiful thing about this piece, difficult while sculpting, is because it really has no front. And so from any angle, it's, it's to be appreciated. This sculpture is just the model, and from this, uh, from the model stage, my next step is after I get all the little details done, I'll be doing it the larger size. And I'll also be doing it a smaller size, because I think this would be a wonderful small sculpture, very organic, nice, beautiful to keep in, in someone's home. Thanks.